Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Black Mesa Source. Yes, this game finally came out. There is a catch. There's no Zen. That will be coming later. Uh, but yeah, Black Mesa Source. Let's go ahead and do a full playthrough. Uh, it just was released this morning, which is a pretty hectic release. Of course, the counter on their website went down to zero, and then their website went down because they had way too much traffic. Try to hold everything up. They uh, eventually posted a link to the torrent, which took a good three hours to download because so many people are downloading. You had something ridiculous like 9,000 peers trying to download at the same time. So uh, a lot of people are trying to download this right now, and I'm going to do a full playthrough of it. Let's go ahead and start a new game. But yeah, this is a... Uh, I've been looking forward to this mod for a very, very long time, and it's been eight years in the making. Uh, it got Steam greenlit, so updates will be easier to follow from now on. Or at least from whatever it managed to get on Steam, anyway. I'm already looking at this and going, holy shit, this <laughs> is actually really good looking good morning and welcome to the black mesa track although the one thing that is currently annoying me mouse sensitivity go up thank you transit system this automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the black mesa research facility personnel the time is sucker 47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Man, this tram is going a lot faster than it originally did in uh, Half-Life 1. I wouldn't imagine they'd make it as near as long. Longest loading times. Also, my mouse sensitivity is still too low. It's a little better. Who be littering in here? This Why can't I pick it up? Inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C. You will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. To say that this is a good-looking mod would be a vast understatement. I understand why this took eight years. I still do wish they released Zen with the full package. I honestly would not mind mond. I on I honestly would not mind waiting a little bit longer to actually have Zen. To me, I looked at this and I went, "You're releasing like everything except for the last quarter of the game." And I personally like Zen. I mean, I'll, this isn't a very popular opinion, but a lot of people didn't like Zen. A lot of people just hated it. And to me, it just felt like you know Half-Life One changed entirely. It became something entirely different, and this is very familiar. Disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed. 
proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. I feel like a tourist. I'm just looking everywhere and at everything. I, I entirely forgot what I was talking about because of that. Right, Zen. I actually liked Zen. It was a complete different pace from Half-Life 1. It had some of the most memorable moments in the whole game, like fucking Testicle Spider or Gonark by the actual name. And, uh... Yeah, it was just different. I think people just didn't like it because of how different it was. It was a change of pace. It was, uh, played entirely differently. A lot of people, I guess, they just... I don't know, they, they wanted more Half-Life. They didn't want variety, they wanted more of the same thing. So they just hated it. In before another loading screen. Called it. The game's running smooth though. It looks uh, very, very nice. They've obviously added a lot of polish into the game. Made sure they've fully finished it, at least so far from what I've seen. No crashes. It installed very, very quick. Uh, downloading it was sort of a pain because, like I said, their website went down. Uh, you had to find a separate torrent link from the external source that they put on their Twitter. And, uh,. <laughs> It was a hectic launch. I, I was looking at Reddit the whole time this was happening on the launch, and as soon as their site went down, holy shit, Reddit's gaming section just blew up. It was hilarious to watch. Literally, the whole, like, first three pages on Reddit new, our, uh, our gaming's new section, was just spam from, a uh, you know, Black Mesa Source going down, and I fully ex I expected it. I fully anticipated that, because there are so many people waiting for this mod, and big news, and, uh, this mod is, like, more anticipated than AAA games. It's really, really amusing. And, um, honestly, from what I've seen, it looks to be worth the hype. Who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas hey, of this looks very familiar. theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. It's a robot bug, look out! I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this part of Black Mesa Source actually looks more polished than the actual Half-Life games. Or the newer Half-Life 2 games anyway. If I feel like I've been exposed to radiation, well, uh, right now might be a good time to say that. Especially that guy. That guy's extra fucked. Hey, we made it. Of course, loading screen. I should probably turn off my Steam notifications. I forgot to do that. Someone else is playing Black Mesa Source on my Steam as well, right now. Everyone else is still currently downloading it. It just takes forever to download. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late.
You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. And you cut the ponytail. Sell out. <laughs> Party amused. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Blue screen of death. So someone mentioned... What am I stuck on? Oh, sweet, I can throw shit at people. Try Earth. hitting control alt delete Quit looking over my shoulder, you're making me uncomfortable. What am I, target practice? <laughs> it's uh, This is the first time I've played Half-Life 2 all over again. Oh, hey, a button. Yeah. Thanks hey, it's info. happening! Cut it what out. the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh. Murtaugh, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. <laughs> Oops. My God, what are you doing? For Pete's sake, keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Okay. For heaven's sake. <laughs> oh, wow, I can pick the whole garbage can up. Ugh. Were you dropped on your lateral premotor cortex as a child, Gordon? What? Doctor? Oh wow, I can hardly jump at all. Jumping around. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. That's not a black man's voice. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Can this wait? Gordon, I'm busy. Uh, hold, just hold on for a moment. Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? <laughs> I'm never going to actually start playing this game. Oh, dear. What did I just do? Act your age, Gordon. No! I don't think I've ever actually seen you perform any work at all. For Pete's sake! Freeman, please. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Okay. Let's go this way. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Hey, no loading screen. In the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. 
For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Does uh, running around throwing stuff at each other make you look busy? Morning, champ. Hello. Button. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom and split. Is that Mountain Dew? No, it just looks like Mountain Dew. How is the debugging procedure coming along? Chair. <laughs> Real mature, Gordon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the most mature person. There's another door here. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. I'm taking my sweet time exploring every single right. moment. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Also, there's achievements now. Uh, hello. Oh. Hello. Could somebody get me some toilet? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> achievements everywhere. I still know exactly where I'm going. I never went in here. Everything is under control, Gordon. Oh, the network servers are unresponsive. Look, there ain't much I can do about it from here. There isn't much he can do. Period. Everybody, get out your slates and chalk. Genius here can't fix the computer. Hey, I got a physics quandary for you two. What would happen to this conversation if we drop it? You are needed in the test chamber, Gordon. Pushing all the buttons. Damn. They don't do anything. Gordon, we can handle everything up here. No, you they can't. need you down in the test chamber. Can I push this button again? I've about had it up to here. <laughs> Did you Damn. make sure everything is plugged in? Yup. I am walking so slowly.
Room seems to be the same. Lost Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. I'm not trying to get to the right airlock. I know where I'm going, I just... They have done a fairly good job replicating the space. Pretty one-to-one, -one, almost. I mean, from what they were saying, it sounded like they weren't going to extreme, you know, basically put it to scale and do exactly the same as Half-Life 1. Uh, you know, copyright reasons, they had to change the name, stuff like that, but um, it seems to be pretty much the same. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Greetings! safe elevator. Damn it. Open. Oh, loading screen. That's why. I was like, man, I have to wait for the elevator to hit to the bottom before I can actually open the door. That's stupid. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna give you something to worry about. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Caution laser! Caution How laser! Curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, What's up, Doc? compensated for any contingency. Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? <laughs> I can't put it in the can. Urgh. Oh, jeez, you can throw Hello, stuff Gordon so Freeman. far. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli! Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find my find my find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, 
You do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Uh. Put that down at once! Freeman, please! Control yourself, Gordon! <laughs> oh, Gordon, that really hurt! Good. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no. As long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. 